So what is happening, everybody? I don't know if you've heard the news, but apparently Star Wars Battlefront designer dies, and EA has decided that they're going to temporarily suspend the microtransactions. And for a minute, I am going to read you what they said, what the article I'm reading says. So EA is temporarily pulling the microtransactions for Star Wars Battlefront 2, a shocking move that comes after days of zealous fan anger and just hours before the official launch of the game. We hear you loud and clear, so we're turning off all in-game purchases, wrote Oscar Gabrielson, GM of Battlefront 2, developer of DICE, in a blog post this evening. We will now spend more time listening, adjusting, balancing, and tuning. This means that the option to purchase crystals in the game is now offline and all progression will be earned through gameplay. The ability to purchase crystals in-game will become available at a later date, only after we've made changes to the game. We'll share more details as we work through this. Previously, you could spend real money on crates and crystals that let you improve your gear and get better at the game, a system that veered dangerously close to pay-to-win waters. Controversy over Battlefront 2 has been swirling for weeks now, but peaked over the weekend after early access players discovered that the game's heroes could take dozens of hours to unlock a process that could expedite that you could expedite by spending money to buy loot crates and earn credits. On Monday, EA cut the cost of all heroes, but the damage had been done and was exacerbated by widespread confusion over whether EA had also cut the number of credits you'd receive for playing the game. This week it seemed like the only thing video game fans wanted to talk about was Star Wars Battlefront 2. Various methods of making you pay extra money. The rage led to the most downvoted Reddit comment of all time and even hit mainstream press with CNN article today proclaiming that the new Star Wars video game was under attack. Well, that's what they had to say about it. Now, when you come in here, you're going to go into your collect collection, and you'll notice, there you go, you've got Boba Fett, Boss, Han, Kylo Ren, Lando, Darth Maul, everybody going on. Man, you get everything. Kylo Ren ship, there's a couple. Man, look at all the stuff that's unlocked. Yoda stuff. Here's the only characters that are still locked, and that's fine. I'll grind the game to get six more characters. I don't want to grind the game to get 40 characters, though. Let's back out of here, and I'm going to open these crates, and we'll see what I got, and that'll be the end of the video. Kylo Ren pre-ordered crate. works for me. Those are both all very, very good. Let's go, light side pre-order crate. Stuff for Yoda. Five items here. Well, I'm glad I went back instead of seeing what they were. How about the founder's crate then? Reveal them all. 3,000 credits. Okay. Daily login crate. Two items. Good thing I went back on that Yoda one. Not much. And daily login crate. Now, I don't know why they think it's such a quick, a qui well, hmm, it seems a little different from the, uh, beta. Let us go to the collections, and Yoda, what do we get for you? Lightsaber ma Mastery, that'll work. 
And it seemed like we must have had things for his ship as well. Nope, that's not Yoda's ship. This is. Apparently not. And what's fun is when you don't know what you've got, you have to go back and look through all of it. Which I am not going to make you guys sit and watch me do. They had something for Yoda. It was all light side stuff. Or something for Ray in there. Yeah, there we go. Far sight, deep mind. Anyways, this was more just to let you guys know about the microtransactions. And I'll thank everybody who watched, and I'm going to go on with the campaign. I'll see you in the next video.